Uh, the presentation is about open access repositories and research data hub in Korea. So um, the first part, um, I'm going to the I'm going to present the first part about open access repositories, and my, my colleague, Dr. Song, will be going to the second part about um, research data hub. Um, we have 34 repositories in Korea, and <clears throat> um, uh, they, uh, they are all uh, built by the project of uh, Open Access Korea uh, by the KISTI. Uh, they are using the this, this space and almost 600,000 uh, journal paper thesis and technical report um, through the uh, repositories. And according to Open Door, uh, in terms of repository type, Oh, there's some missing <laughs> in here. Um, most of the repositories are institutional one, and um, we don't have any aggregating system yet. And the main subject of our open access sources are business and economics and health and, health and medicine. Um, KISTI have driven forward to uh, develop and distribute the repository system so far, but still, as you can see, we, we have a long way to go. Um, KISTI was designated as the Outcome Management Institute uh, of original paper of a project and, uh, and papers. But, um, so uh, at the end of all government-funded R&D research, um, the researchers have to submit their reports about projects and uh, or most of the original reports of the project can be assessed uh, by, uh, through the KISTI service like NTIS and NDSL. However, we did not, um, however, um, we only collect the metadata of the papers uh, due to the uh, copyright issues. So uh, this year we are going to uh, build a national repository system, as you can see in this conceptual diagram. And uh, basically we are going to uh, collect the papers from um, open access journals and Mm, or, uh, the project project reports um, for now, and then um, uh, while we set up the open access policy at the national level, and also and then we we are going to find some ways to collect the um, uh, collect from institutional repository and. Uh, individual researchers and uh, individual researchers. Uh, this system will be going to set up after, uh, in this year and hopefully will be connected uh, and expand, expand more uh, by connecting to your systems. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Sagwang Song uh, from KISTI. Uh, uh, from now on, uh, our, uh, I want to share with you about you know, research data hub and the related things. Actually, it's just a beginning step uh, in Korea. But uh, I'll explain about the background of why we are focusing on the research data hub and their systems, and then recent activities related to our government and our institute. Okay. Uh, actually, the, the data and metadata 
about you know, research documents has been uh, well organized and gathered and provided in, for a long time, actually, in, even in Korea. But the, recently, uh, there are uh, many requirements of using uh, research data in every field, every domain. So the government start concent concentrate and prepare new policy on sharing and utilizing research data because of a recent AI uh, revolution. Okay? Because the data itself is very precious in terms of analyzing and makes a certain revolution, even in Korea. So uh, government have a strong uh, intention to uh, share such kind of uh, research data in uh, some kind of re uh, research uh, environment to uh, providing to the users, like the researchers. So the Korean government has been developing a new policy and system for sharing and utilizing research data since 2017. Actually, it's a very short time. Like late 2017, it has been started. But the role of KISTI here is to support the government. Especially we uh, are supporting government in both policy making and and system development. System means you know, research data, gathering and management, and hub system services. We are developing uh, from these years, actually. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, in this context, government uh, also provides uh, a certain uh, government fund to the other uh, funded research institute. There are several kind of uh, uh, research Institute in Korea, for example, Biological Research Institute and chemi Chemistrical or some other research institutes, most of them, uh, they are given some funds from the government. So government uh, pushed them to uh, build their own uh, domain-specific IDRs. Uh, currently, at uh, this year, uh, 2018, we have uh, building or constructing domain-specific ideas such as biology, AI, artificial intelligence, new materials, and so on. So, uh, in this background, we uh, are planning to build this kind of uh, portal service for Korean science and technology information utilization. Okay? This service integrates uh, these two parts. The first one is IA Hub. And the second part is Research Data Hub. As you already know about you know, IR Hub, it deals with the data from the IR uh, repositories. Okay? There are several kind of, uh, 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 some number of uh, Korean uh, in institutional repositories. At the same time, uh, we are focusing on the Research Data Hub, which uh, gathers and manages the data from uh, several kind of institutional data repositories. Uh, as I told you, told you just before slide, uh, there are four uh, domain-specific ideas, so we uh, call it designated IRs. Each designated IR represents a certain domain fields, for example, biology. So the researchers uh, belong to biology, should their uh, research data uh, 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 re registers research data to the IDRs, I mean the designated IDRs, to share and utilize by another researchers, even in uh, the citizens, okay? So this is, you know, the conceptual diagram. Then uh, I want to look at a little bit more about the research data hub that we are planning, okay? This is the a kind of a conceptual structure of our research data platform. Okay? Uh, actually, this platform or this hub has two main core functions. It has uh, effective analysis and utilization environment. I will explain a little bit more in detail later. And in addition to the basic uh, functionalities, uh, preservation and distribution of uh, information and research data, okay? It's focusing, 
uh, focusing on basic functionality, uh, as well as you know the uh, uh, additional uh, functionality of uh, effective analysis and utilization function. Okay. In addition to this core function, uh, we uh, also provide you know domestic ILO ideal connection function functions and global system connections with, uh, for example, open airs. So. Uh, in uh, our you know, research data hub wants to integrate the other you know, IDR and designated IDR, even uh, some other IR uh, repositories using the you know, IR hubs. So two, two hub systems are uh, located in our KISTI, so we will uh, provide the entire, you know, I mean, the integrated uh, hub system for IR and IDR hub system, okay? And the computing infrastructure system, I'll uh, explain a little bit later, but we uh, consider the private cloud and public cloud, uh, and finally, we also uh, consider the supercomputing facility, because, you know, the research data has uh, a lot of, you know, amount of, uh, Data, so uh, and it needs a uh, huge amount of computing powers. So uh, we want to meet such kind of requirements from the domain scientists or other users. So we also em employ such kind of supercomputing uh, facilities. And uh, on top of these functions. We want to uh, provide this kind of services. The first one, intelligence searches, like you know, semantic searches, and analysis, analysis and utilization is a kind of you know, AI or deep learning based uh, big data, a research data uh, analysis function or environment, repository hosting, which is you know, hosting uh, certain users who have not uh, such kind of you know, um, clusters or computing uh, facilities or even uh, some kind of software management skills. And then the, uh, the first uh, service is collaborating and sharing. We want to provide and uh, promote the collaborating uh, the researchers uh, in a certain, for example, in a certain uh, domain or topics. And then basically we also provide system management and community support, okay? This is, you know, uh, Maybe uh, it's, it's the last slide that I want you. Uh, I added this slide because you know our uh, research data platform consists of several you know, and three main uh, uh, cloud or systems. The first one is the private cloud. Usually, the private cloud contains the metadata. Usually, uh, came from. Uh, you know, the metadata is, contains a lot of information about, you know, IR and IDR information, and usually the metadata. And the public clouds uh, store the research data itself. Okay. Actually, the research data, the, the amount of research data is very, very large. So uh, we will store such kind of uh, big research data into the public cloud instead of the private cloud. Usually private cloud is used for developing and the, you know, testing our system and uh, supporting the basic web services, okay? And additionally, on top of, on bottom of this uh, slide, you can see the supercomputing uh, facility here. Uh, as I told you already that uh, many researchers want to uh, use supercomputing facility to uh, analyze their own you know, big data, big research data. That's why we added this kind of supercomputing uh, infra in our you know, uh, research data platform. Okay. This is the end of my slide, uh, actually. Uh, I'm uh, a little bit, you know, nervous because, you know, this is my first uh, visit in core community and meeting. So, uh, actually, this is the just beginning stage of our Korean, you know, core meeting and core, you know, uh, collaboration. Mm -hmm. But I want you uh, to contact me if you have any uh, intention to collaborate with, the, with us, okay? 
Thank you.